Hi everyone, it's your girl Fashionably J, and thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I slicked down my blonde TWA or Shetan, I don't know, however you want to call it. My hair is only like a fourth of an inch long, so yeah, it's super short. So first, um, I did like co-wash my hair in the shower with um, just like some leftover conditioner that I had. And then I just put on like this little microfiber towel cap that I've had for years. So there I got my part and like I said, my hair is still damp. So I'm gonna be using my Tila Wajid uh, Curly Curly Curl Cream. And this is what I like to use in place of the Eco Styler Gel. I absolutely love this stuff. And it smells so good. And I wish I would've used it when um, I had my longer um, curly hair. putting this back here because I do have it like faded up it just feels so good so yeah I'm gonna put that on there and then next what I'll do is go in with my foam wrap and I'm almost out of it but I do love it and I love that they improved the formula because it does have the shea butter the argan oil and the coconut oil in it and I feel like it's not like your typical old-school foam wraps where it was like super super drying so I'm just gonna take that over the Tila Wajid cream. And I like to do like the cream or the leave-in first because I have bleached my hair um, so much. So I kinda like to get that moisture in it first before I go in and lock it in with like a, a foam wrap. So, and if you are gonna do what I'm doing, you do wanna stock up on the foam wrap. And I feel like these edges right here just, I don't know if they're just super dry or they just are just stubborn and just don't want to lay down. But, yeah. And I like to use like clear products or like creamy products so that way it doesn't stain my hair too much. So like both these products, the foam wrap is clear and then the Tila Wajid is like a creamy color. So now I'm just going back in with my comb and just smoothing everything out. this brush strokes brush and it has like a hard side and a soft side so I'm going to use the hard side to lay all this stuff down and um, smooth everything out Next thing that you're gonna need is like these styling strips and I ended up getting these from Sally's and it was like a whole box of them it was like a whole box of them and I was so happy because it was like regularly reduced to $9.99 but then they were doing this event where it's like all the reg tags were half price so like I got this for like four or five dollars and I mean I had never used foam wraps like before so I was like oh this is a really good price I got I got all these for like five dollars or whatever so yeah so next what I'm gonna do and this technique I got from I think her name is kinky curly Des, where she takes the foam wraps to like lay down her hair so I'm just gonna take a strip do it like this kind of pull it taunt so I can really lay the hair down. 
take another one and then we're just gonna move backward. And this just, <laughs> this just cracks me up because I feel like if you guys have ever seen, what is it, the Christmas Carol with like Ebenezer Scrooge, <laughs> where one of them comes back and he has like all these ties on his jaw and uh, yeah, so hold on. So yeah, that's what I feel like. No, I'm just kidding. So next, what I'm going to take, next I'm going to take my do-rag and I just got this from the Dollar Tree. And because both me and my husband wear do-rags now, what I'm eventually gonna do is just take some nail polish and just like paint the tips of these. So that's the tip for, you know, you ladies out there who have like um, TWAs or you, don't, or you guys are doing like the low, hair the low hairstyles or whatever it's called the fades or whatever just like paint the tips of it if your significant other is like you can't use my do-rag so even though I find it funny because when my husband had grew was growing out his mohawk he used to use my bonnet sometimes but you know whatever so now I'm just tying it and then I'm just pulling like the little tail down I'm just pulling that down just to make my hair lay more smoothly and then then what we're gonna do is take some scissors I would recommend using smaller scissors but what I'm gonna do is just take it and cut it and you want to be super careful and like I said I got this technique from kinky curly desk I think is how you say it So I got this technique from her. And then I will do, now you don't have to do this, but I just like doing this so I just don't feel so boyish. So I just put on like this little headband or whatever, you know. So then what I will do now is kind of just push it back just a wee bit so I can do my makeup and everything. And um, if I'm in a rush, what I will do is, I won't have this on, but I'll actually go to the bathroom with my do-rag and everything on and just have the blow dryer um, over it to kind of dry it faster while it's still laying down. But since I have a little bit of time today, I'm just going to go ahead and let it kind of dry on its own and then... Um, I'm gonna put on my makeup and then I will be back to let you guys see the final result. Okay guys, so I am back. It has been like 45 minutes to an hour. I got my face done and um, yeah, I'm getting ready to take everything off. I don't think she's gonna be completely dry, but I don't have time to wait on Velma to dry all day. If you guys have not watched my other videos, I call my hair Velma, so that's what I'm talking about. But I'm just gonna take my do-rag off and like I said, sometimes I will go ahead and go into the bathroom and just use my blow dryer to help like move the process along. But I just didn't feel like doing that today. So yeah. So now what I'm gonna do is grab my scissors again. Again, you should probably use like some littler scissors or smaller scissors. And I'm just gonna cut it. Okay, so I got my two-sided bris bristle brush again, and I'm gonna use the saw side to just kind of work it back down, just gently. Sometimes what I 
would do is grab like a little rat tail comb or like my little toothbrush for my edges. Dip it into the Tila Wajid. Put a little bit here. Like that. So I just put some there. I'm just gonna take it, kind of push it back. Now I don't do the whole finger wave thing. I haven't tried that cell yet. Maybe I'll try that later, but for now I'm just kind of Swoop it back just a wee bit. So and I don't do too too much because I don't I don't necessarily even like doing a whole bunch of edgy stuff. Well, like a whole bunch of stuff to my edges. I feel like when I first went natural, I was all about that, but now just kind of like, okay, if I want to do it, I'll do it. If I don't, I don't, whatever. So, and she is just trying to stick up on these sides. Like, you know the drill, you know what's going on. So yeah, she is smooth and she would be a little bit more smoother if I had waited just a little bit longer for her to dry, but I didn't, so, but I'm, you know, fine with this. So, and then what I would do is just kind of brush out the back, just in case those foam wrap strips just kind of like bunch the hair up, so I'm just like brushing it, so that way it looks more smooth and everything. So yeah, that is all that I do to slick down my hair and to get this look. I think eventually I do want to try and do like some finger waves and experiment with some color. But for right now, I'm absolutely loving this blonde short haircut. I just think it's so cute and I just love it. And um, like I said, I got this um, technique from Kinky Curly Desk and then like a few other YouTubers. So what I would do is try to link my uh, shaved heads playlist down below because that I just kind of saved a collection of videos from like people shaving their heads, people with um, like blind CWAs and then people slicking down their hair. I mean, even though it's not a shaved head, I just put it in that folder. So you can check out that playlist down below to get to gather some more inspiration and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I will be having more videos coming out soon. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.